Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about how to apply chain rule to find a derivative. To complete this problem, we'll identify inside and outside functions, take the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function untouched, and then multiply our result by the derivative of the inside function. Let's take a look. In this particular problem, we've been asked to use chain rule to find the derivative of the function g of x equals the quantity 1 plus 4x to the fifth power times the quantity 3 plus x minus x squared to the eighth power. The first thing we need to realize is that not only will we need to use chain rule to solve this problem, we'll also need to use product rule. Remember that product rule is what we use when we have two functions that are multiplied together and we need to take the derivative. So in this case, we have two functions, one of which is the quantity 1 plus 4x to the fifth, and the other, which is the quantity 3 plus x minus x squared to the eighth. Those are two separate functions and they're multiplied together, so we need to use product rule to take their derivative. So the derivative will denote as g prime of x. Remember that the product rule tells us to take the derivative of one of the functions. So for example, if we call the orange function f of x and the green function h of x, the product rule tells us to take the derivative of f of x, so f prime of x, multiply that by h of x without doing anything to h of x, and then add to that f of x as it is times the derivative of h of x. So we just reverse which one is the derivative and we take the sum of those. So given that roadmap there, we're going to be taking the derivative of f of x. So here's where chain rule comes in. In order to take the derivative of the quantity 1 plus 4x to the fifth, we have to recognize an inside function and an outside function. So the outside function is the whole thing, the quantity 1 plus 4x to the fifth. The whole thing you can consider to be the outside function. The inside function is what's inside. It's 1 plus 4x. So what we need to do when we use chain rule is take the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function completely alone, and then multiply that result by the derivative of the inside function. So in other words, if we take this as an example, the derivative of the outside function, we're going to use the power rule, and we're going to bring the 5 out in front, as if this whole thing here were just x to the fifth instead of 1 plus 4x to the fifth. So if you kind of ignore this inside function here and pretend that it's almost not even there, just, just represent it as x, and you have x to the fifth instead of this complicated thing you would take the derivative of x to the fifth as 5x to the fourth using the power rule. You bring the 5 out in front and subtract 1 from the exponent to get 5x to the fourth. Well, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to get 5 times this middle part here and then to the fourth, right? 5x to the fourth, except that x is 1 plus 4x. So that's the derivative of the outside function, leaving the inside function completely untouched. We basically ignored it for now. But once we do this, this is the derivative of the outside function. Once we take this derivative, we have to now, according to chain rule, multiply this result here by the derivative of the inside function. So now we're looking at the inside, which is 1 plus 4x. The derivative of that is just 4, because the derivative of 1, the constant, is 0. And the derivative of 4x is 4, so 0 plus 4 gives us 4. The derivative of the inside is 4, so we need to now multiply our result here by the derivative of the inside. That's 4. So that accounts for f prime of x, or the derivative of f of x. But now we need to multiply by h of x. So we multiply by the quantity 3 plus x minus x squared, all to the 8th. Now for the part of our product rule formula here, f of x times h prime of x, we'll go ahead and put in f of x, which we know to be the quantity 1 plus 4x to the fifth. And now we need to take the derivative of h of x. So we'll do the same thing we did with the last one, where we'll ignore the inside function. The inside function will be 3 plus x minus x squared. We'll treat it as if it were just simply x, and we'll use the power rule to bring the 8 out in front here. Ignore this inside function, pretend that it's just a simple x. The power rule tells us we bring that 8 in front and then subtract 1 from the exponent to get 7. So 
we've taken the derivative of the outside function h of x, but now we need to multiply, according to chain rule, we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. So now we're multiplying by the derivative of 3 plus x minus x squared. The derivative of that we'll take term by term. So the derivative of 3 is 0. The derivative of x is just 1. And the derivative of negative x squared is negative 2x. So that's the derivative of the inside, and we multiply by the derivative of the inside. Now it's just a matter of simplifying as much as possible. So we'll bring this 4 out in front here, and we'll get 20 times 1 plus 4x to the fourth times the quantity 3 plus x minus x squared all to the eighth. And then over here, we'll bring the 8 out in front, so we'll get plus 8 times the quantity 1 plus 4x to the fifth power times 3 plus x minus x squared to the seventh power times 1 minus 2x. Now you could leave it like this, but it probably makes more sense to factor out some of these terms. So what you'll notice is we can factor out a 4 because we have 20 and 8, and there's a common factor there of 4. So we can factor out a 4, and we can factor out a 1 plus 4x to the 4th, because we have a 1 plus 4x to the 4th here, and a 1 plus 4x to the 5th in this second term here. So we can factor out 1 plus 4x to the 4th, and we can factor out a 3 plus x minus x squared to the 7th because we have that quantity raised to the 8th in the first term and raised to the 7th in the second term. So we'll say 3 plus x minus x squared all to the 7th. We can factor those things out, and now what we multiply by is, for the first term here, 5 because 4 times 5 gives us 20. We've already factored out the entire 1 plus 4x to the 4th, and we factored out 3 plus x minus x squared to the 7th, so we just need 3 plus x minus x squared to the 1st. So 3 plus x minus x squared to the 1st power there. Now for the second term, we need 2, because 4 times 2 gives us 8. We've already factored out 1 plus 4x to the 4th, so we're just left with a 1 plus 4x to the 1st power. And we factored out the entire 3 plus x minus x squared to the 7th out in front there, so that goes away. And we're just left with 1 minus 2x. Now, if we simplify what's inside these square brackets here, we will be able to simplify the function. We'll distribute the 5 here, and we'll get 15 plus 5x minus 5x squared, then we'll get 2 times 1 minus 2x plus 4x is a plus 2x here, minus 8x squared. Now we'll distribute the 2 and get plus 2 plus 4x minus 16x squared. Now we'll collect like terms, and we'll get 15 plus 2 gives us 17 plus 5x plus 4x gives us plus 9x and then minus 5x squared minus 16x squared gives us minus 21x squared and that's it that's how you use product rule and chain rule to get the most simplified version here of the derivative of g of x so i hope you found that video helpful if you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.